Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to give you reason number 87 why I love Zoom Notes. Now, honestly, it's probably more like number 8,424, 8, but I didn't want y'all to think I was exaggerating, though that is not exaggerating. I have that many reasons. Um, so we'll just call it number 87 for today, all right? I just came up with it for today. That's why it's a higher number, but that's okay. Now, why do I love Zoom Notes? You can make jigsaw puzzle messages. What? <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. See? It's a jigsaw puzzle with the pieces laid out. Um, now, a more practical use, you know, this... You probably wouldn't do this for this particular one. But um, I made this one so that you could make one for somebody you're missing. And, you know, take the puzzle piece out of the heart where the U is. All right. That's, that's what you can do that's more practical. And send that to them in an email or something. But uh, the way I create it. You start with the image, and then I got this jigsaw puzzle template here off the web. Uh, and I'll, I'll put the link where I got it. It's free. I think it's ping, P-N-G-A-L-L dot com. And I'll put that link in the description. But So you go ahead and have a few copies of it just in case I always like to have at least a couple copies of each thing that way if I screw up you know you've always got a backup so I take this one and drag it on top of my image and then I want to make because now that's basically the shape the size I want it I want the exact same size to the right of it so that I can use the one on the left as a reference. Now let me get let me get more zoomed in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, see now I want to look at the picture on the left when I decide which pieces I'm going to pull out of the image because you don't want to pull out important ones. You want to keep the integrity of the message that you're trying to put across. So I look at the one on the left and say oh, okay I, I don't think I need that piece and I don't but you can't just do it directly well let me just show you the reason you would not just start here and do it from here is if you tried to fill this see you'd get little pieces and you, it'd take you all night to get that done so you want to have the same exact image over to the right and then I can just tap on the piece that I think I'm going to delete and um, just pick random places again not important places that would take away from the picture but uh, let's see you know something to make it more interesting all right now that you've got that now let me show you something I forgot to tell you on your fill tool you want to make sure that create filled shape is selected it's toggled on so everything that I just created was a shape um, now if I select one of them if you don't do if you don't do that part this part won't work so I've got it selected and now I do the grab tool and see that makes the the shape the the grab shape the same as the puzzle piece so now I take that shape, he has made this thing so nice, and put it on top of the puzzle piece that I'm going to get rid of, and tap off, and do copy, and then do paste, and that's my first puzzle piece right there. Then take the next one, do the same thing, select it, click on... Um, grab move it over to the place where it is over here tap off copy then paste
again right here select grab move it over see I'm getting rid of a lot of the firework things and tap off copy paste and I think there's one more yeah one more here down here select it grab move it over tap off copy and paste now when I paste I'm double tapping on my screen with my fingers now you set that up in the um, on the main level under the gear on the main document level you can set your double and triple taps okay and that's what that's what I have my double tap is to paste all right now uh, let's see I don't want to forget anything let me move I'm gonna move this off and move this on top of it let me not select these two things move that down select you want to make sure you get all all four of the pieces that you're um, got to zoom out select and get the puzzle and the four gold pieces and move that on top of the image now now would be the time you'd go ahead and go to the 1.0 over on the left and take down the opacity that way maybe not so much that way your lines are not so dark but you want your uh your gold things to stay probably more solid than that i don't know we may or may not have issues with that let's see so i zoom in i select the outside and do again do a grab and i'm going to pull it in just a little bit i'm making the puzzle now i'm going to take this into transparency tap it off copy double tap to paste now i'm going to take that i don't know the dark lines are still pretty dark but that's okay you be the judge of yours okay and now i need to go to transparency and get rid of all the gold pieces now i've got to turn it to fill and do add and let me see if that's enough no it's not i need to move the tolerance bar just slightly to the right so that it gets more when i tap um and really and truly i might need to go even stronger than that we'll see it leaves it leaves some so i have to be careful of that and that you can't see it right now but boy when you don't do it right and you do the fine see like right here there's lots of places it missed and I want to add back the black lines so I change it to paint and move it to subtract and and erase out the green where it's covering up parts that you want to keep like these lines here now if I go over here see it I, I yeah sometimes this works really great and sometimes not so much it's because of the opacity I, I should have um, just changed the opacity of the black lines not of the green areas now I need to add back Let's see. I've got 
to make sure I get all of the gold gone and subtract again and get back here. I ought to leave some of it just so you can see what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to because... All right, you know what? I am too, just so you can see what happens. If you don't get all of it, see that little bitty speck? I'm going to leave that there just so you can see what may or may not happen. I don't know. There's a piece when I touched it right there. When you're resizing this thing, you have to be careful because a lot of times you will select or you will add where you don't want it. Now, see right here, right there, I'm going to go ahead and leave some of that, but I'm going to take what I just did away. See that little piece sticking up there? Uh, get the black line back. Do a better job than I did of changing the opacity. I shouldn't have done that. All right, and I'm leaving the mistakes on purpose so you can see what happens and then you'll know why it did. And there's another one, a little spot right there in the middle. I'm gonna do save. Now see, I've just made the um, yellow spots into transparent. Now watch what happens when I do the find boundary shape. And my bound my shape is defined, my default is a, a black outline, no fill with a drop shadow. So that's what's going to happen to this image here over on the right that I just created. Oops. Oh good grief. I just drew a shape. I've got to get rid of it. Okay. Select this. Do find boundary shape under the shape operations and create that. And let's see, I'm trying to zoom out. <laughs> now, I didn't do it so bad this time. Boy, the last time I tried this, it left big old ugly black lines because the fine boundary shape found all those little specks that I had left. Um, here, let me... See, like, you see it's right there. Um, but it didn't hurt it too much this time. Natural. Oh, did I forget one? No, no, no. <laughs> All right, so now I've got my pieces and I've got my puzzle. Now let me, I'm going to go ahead and find boundary shape of all of these. I'm pretty, I have to do these one at a time. Let's see, find boundary shape. Just adding a little black outline with a drop shadow. Try it. You know, this is fun stuff. Now, how did that get closed? Shape, shape, shape. Because I don't have it selected. Select it. Find boundary shape. There you go. So now you've got your pieces that are outside and your uh, puzzle that has the pieces missing. And here's what the drop shadow thing looks like. And there you have it. That's it. All right. Y'all have a great day here. Bye.